everybody. Tonight we're going to be talking about DRIs, or dog run indexes, or as most people call them, a run index. They are all the same number, a little different name depending on where you go and what people call them, but it's all the same. A uh, few people wanted to know how we calculate them, how the numbers are calculated, formulated, where they come from. So we're here to explain that. And we're just going to jump right in. I do apologize, my voice is a little bit off from usual. Uh, I've had kind of a throat issue the past week, and it's catching up to me, so I might not sound perfect, but we'll try and get through this one. That way we can get those questions answered. So we're going to explain a couple things first. A dog run index, what that is, it is an average number of the fastest dogs in the country. So it is the top 5%. Um, it is a different number for each height group and each class. It is only done in elite. You do not get a DRI for novice, open, or intro. It is only done for elite. And the numbers do change for each height group and each class. They are a little bit different for each one. Another good thing to remember is that your height group is based off your dog's shoulder height. So if you have a 20 inch proficient standard dog, that is what their height is based off of. If you have a 20 inch proficient veteran dog, even though they jump 16, their DRI is still based off of that proficient standard height, that 20 inch height. So that's a good little number to remember that it's not based off your jumping height, it's based off your dog's shoulder height. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, how are the numbers actually calculated? Well, first, you're going to need to figure out your yards per second, which is how fast your dog is running each course. For the purpose of this, we're going to say it's an elite jumpers course, and it's just a standard elite jumpers, which is about 133 yards. So you're going to take 133 and you will divide that by your dog's running time. For the purpose of this, we're going to say it is 19.5 seconds. We'll bring up a calculator here. That way everybody can see what that equals out to. We'll say you didn't peek at that. So 133 divided by 19.5. Oh, wrong number. 133 divided by 19.5. There we go. And that is your yards per second. You can ignore all those extra decimal places. So 6.82 yards per second. Make all this a little bit bigger. That way you guys can see it a little better. Hopefully that helps. So 133 yards divided by your dog's running time equals 6.82 yards per second. Now, to get your DRI, you are going to need a number that is not actually publicly available. Uh, we used to, a very, very, very long time ago, post these numbers, but then we ran into a lot of issues because people would say, well, these are the numbers, and they would go to a trial, and then they would see that their points had a different DRI than what they had calculated, which caused just a truckload of headaches for us and everyone involved, mostly because they were using outdated numbers. They would see an old list, they would print it off, keep it in their trial bag, and then they would see their DRI on their points and it didn't match what they had gotten because they were using an outdated number. So it makes it a little bit difficult that we can't just post these. I'm sure the question is going to come up. If we can, we'll discuss it. We'll see how that goes. But anyways, elite jumpers, the factor, which is the number you have to run in for your DRIs, is 6.5. Um, and that is 6.5 yards per second. So you run in exactly 6.5 yards per second, you would get a perfect 100 DRI. That rarely happens. So this is how you actually calculate it. You will take your yards per second right here. So 6.82. You will divide that by your factor for your height group and your class. In this case, we're talking about elite jumpers, and we are talking about a 20 inch dog. So the factor for elite jumpers, 20 inch dog, is 6.5. We'll bring up our handy dandy calculator again. So you have 6.82 divided by 
6.5. And there's your DRI. Kind of. Not really. So this really is your DRI. But it's not very impressive to say you got a 1.04. It just doesn't sound very good. So how you get your real DRI after this is you multiply by 100. And ta-da! There is your real number. And this is what's going to show up in your points. And this is the actual number. So we'll just write it out here real quick. 6.82 divided by 6.5 equals 1.04. I cannot honestly remember what. Yeah, we'll do it one more time. <laughs> 6.82 divided by 6.5. Wrong button. Wrong button again. Gotta love technical issues. Da -da -da. All right, we'll just click it. There we go. 1.0492. And then multiply that by 100, and you get your real number of 104.92. Hopefully that makes sense. It can be a little bit confusing. Um, if you guys need a little further explanation or anything else, please let me know. But this is the basic calculation for everything. And we'll go through it one more time, just so everybody can be, you know, really clear on it. So first, you need to find your yards per second. You will take your course yardage, and you will divide that by your run time. And that will give you your yards per second. Then you will take your yards per second, and you will divide that by the factor for the class, which is not publicly available, so really you can't do it. Although you can reverse engineer the number to find out the number, but we'll, uh, we'll let the math people do that. So divide that by your factor, and that gives you 1.0492, which is kind of your DRI. Multiply that by 100, and you get your absolute real DRI. So again, I hope that helps everybody. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Have a great weekend, everybody.